Hello, lives. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another walk and talk with Cora Dreamer Dog. She's hot on the trail of something. <laughs> and me, Infinity. It is a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. What are you doing, Baba? You smell a tree. Uh, it is almost 10 o'clock here in the Pacific, which I can't believe. Uh, we were up, or I'm up, I'm awake before, <laughs> well before the sun comes up every single day. Um, it's just a matter of exactly when. Is it in the four o'clock hour, in the five o'clock hour? Uh, those are usually sometimes the six o'clock hour, but well before the sun starts to come up. It's just a matter of do I go back to sleep? Do I get up? But I really have always loved getting up really early. Sometimes, though, I'm not motivated to be up and about in the dark yet. Um, and I just, I think I've just gotten out of that routine. Because um, I certainly have done that in, in the past. But anyway, today I, and actually yesterday, I decided that I really want to be getting up and starting my day. Uh, and getting everything rolling with the with the cats and, and Cora sooner than later in the morning because it goes by so fast and I need more hours in my day. So the way to get more hours in my day is to wake up earlier and to get up, not wake up earlier, get up earlier, get my day started earlier. Because again, I wake up pretty freaking early um, as it is. So anyhow, um, that is certainly something to consider as these days get uh, shorter with the light. We get our nights coming a lot faster. Just in the last, you know, month, we have switched from, you know, well, in the middle of summer, it gets dark at nine o'clock, right? How awesome is that? If that could just be that way all the time. Um, but yeah, now it's by 7.30, it's dark. And so, and it's just going to get more and more and then the time is going to change and then it's going to be 4.30 in the afternoon when it's dark, which is brutal. But we'll get to that soon enough. And just like last year, we're going to be working with our guides and guardians to uh, help us with, spirit, with the spirit walk, just like last year. And the year before, I'm losing track of how many years we've been doing this, but um, <laughs> to help us with that transition so we don't have such a hard time with our circadian rhythm uh, when it gets dark really, really early. And instead of it taking weeks or months to get used to that, uh, with the spirit walk, it's basically right away. Birdies, baby, birdies, birdies. <laughs> It's <laughs> still early enough where um, wildlife is where it was in the in possibly during the night, I guess. But I'm also being conscious of taking her out just a little bit for a walk anyway. Out a little bit. Are you going to poop right here? What are you doing? Bubba, what are you doing? Uh just to give wildlife more time to move before we come through and disturb them. So, anyway. Whoa! <sighs> yep, see? It's the birdies. I told you, just like yesterday. Just like yesterday. Same birdies, same spot. Being all nice and cozy in the sunlight. And you come and disturb them. You nut. <laughs> I told you it was the birdies. Exact same thing happened yesterday. Exactly. Uh, so anyway, definitely getting up and out of bed earlier is going to extend your day, give you more time, more hours, 
Uh, and it's just a, it's a decision. It's a decision that you need to make. I'm not one for, for alarms and I don't need them. I get up so early, so I don't need an alarm. But if you need, and I personally am like, if you're sleeping, let, let yourself sleep if you, if you need it. But also part of this going to getting up early is going to sleep early, earlier. So we need to adjust our, um, our light and dark with the light and the dark that we're now in with the season change. And that means that we need to um, go to bed earlier. And, you know, in the middle of the summer, when it gets dark at nine o'clock, it makes sense to go to sleep at 12, one, two in the morning. So, you know, you're, it's not just gotten dark and you're going to sleep an hour or two later because that might be weird for some people. And we just naturally tend to stay up later in the summertime. But then we have this change and we need to, uh, okay, you're pulling me way too much, dog. You're pulling me way too much. Uh, we have this change and we need to adjust. So we need to start going to bed earlier so we can wake up earlier and have more daylight in our, in our brain, in our pineal gland, on our bodies, um, because it's going to be a short, shorter and shorter days as we move forward. So it's a decision that you have to make to get in alignment with what's happening with your, with our season and with the daylight and the, and the, uh, and the nighttime. <laughs> so we, nope, 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 nope. We're not doing this. We're not, no, 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 no. Come on. Oh my God. She doesn't want the fresh bear shit. She wants the old bear shit. I don't quite understand that, but it's gross no matter what. Oy. Look at this. Oh, glory, glory, glorious. Look at this magnificent beautiful wow 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 oh so pretty so so pretty wow uh so Everything needs to be adjusted when you eat dinner, when you start, you know, taking your plant medicines to get you relaxed or putting on your CBD lotions or whatever, <laughs> that you start getting into like winding it down. And if you can get to sleep by 10 or 11, that would be great. The sun has already been down for, you know three, four hours. That's plenty of time to have an evening in the dark and then cozy up and get into bed and go to sleep. Um, be asleep by 10 or 11 PM. And then it will be easier to get up at five or six in the morning, seven in the morning, right? Because it's not like you're keeping the schedule of going to sleep later and trying to get up earlier. That's not going to work. <laughs> so we need to adjust it on both sides. So anyway, really think about that. Um, everyone can use more hours in the day, right? We can all use more hours in the day. And we're going to be really guided to get into do mode as we move forward into fall. Um uh, where it feels a little bit better to be inside and to be productive or working on whatever it is that you need to be working on. Uh, I know it's hard for me <laughs> in the summertime when it's so nice out, so warm. It feels so good unless it's too, too hot and you don't want to be outside either. But you know what I mean? Fall to me, we get into fall and winter. Um, I definitely get into more of a hunkering down and being really productive and that's definitely coming through so whatever it is that you've been um working on mentally or preparing for creatively there's so much that's going to come in to balance out the the upper 
um, uh, uh, like the, <laughs> how do I put this? As this vision is coming through, like we've had a lot of the, the, the heady, the heady, uh, energies coming through to get us thinking pl and planning and, you know, structuring stuff like that. Uh, but there also what there was a lot of, this isn't the time to really be doing, it's the time to be, to be, and then just let what comes through, come through. And then we will, uh, have a time for, do, for doing once we have, when things have come through, uh, to actually do whether, whatever that is for you, whatever that is for you, <laughs> whatever the doing, the production, the actual creating of the, of what came through for you, the actual participating in whatever the doing is, there's lots of different doing that we're going to be um, inspired and motivated to do, to, to, to put into action. Uh, so, um, that is coming. So we need our energy. We need more time in the day for that. Uh, we need to adjust with ourselves, uh, the light and the dark, especially after the equinox on Friday. And I do hope that everybody's doing great and feeling that tremendous relief of the reset energies and the starting new energies with the equinox uh because that is definitely a thing and definitely uh i certainly have felt it big time the spirit walk certainly helps uh and if you have not done that yet or if you've just done it once you definitely should get to it asap um, um as well as doing it again i'm being guided to do it again you're being guided to do it again um, it will help um, further ground you into these timelines and open you up for what needs to come through uh okay so with that said uh here we are at the pond um yeah i think we maybe come over here later today Yes? Yes, Baba? Okay, we'll come back later today. We haven't run around here in a while, have we? We've been doing other stuff. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And you think about how the light and the dark is shifting. And you need to shift with it, with your schedule. And really take yourself to this these new timelines um, and, and what you're doing with yourself, with the light and the dark, with your up and your down <laughs> and when that is happening, because it's certainly going to matter moving forward and, uh, help you a lot with, um, just your energy, just, yeah, just, oh, I found her this stick last night. It's big. <laughs> and she loves it. Did you forget about this big stick? You didn't see it on the way out. Look at you with that big stick. It's massive. It's really big and it's awkward shaped. Huh? She loves it. Of course. The bigger the better. Huh? Bigger the better. So we stay with sticks. <laughs> uh... So anyway, I hope this has inspired you to, oh, uh, take another look at your day, your schedule, your up and your down, your light and your dark, and uh, really ground into these shifting energies and how things are going to be and feel better for you when you really lock into that and make that decision to do it. I know once I did that, it was really easy last night to, you know, be a be like, I'm going to sleep at 11 o'clock. I'm done. <laughs> done with the day. I want to wake up early tomorrow. I want to get up early tomorrow. And I did. 
I was up um, and out of bed, even though I had been up for already like an hour and a half or two. I was up and out of bed by 7 o'clock, and that felt really, really good. So, there we go. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you're not following me on Facebook and active on Facebook, I invite you to do so. I have some really, really cool things that are going to be happening there very soon. And for a limited time as well. So, don't delay. I'll see you later, alligators. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now.